if, it, if you're going to do vaccines, why don't you spread them out? Why don't you delay them? Why are you giving a 16-month-old baby an HPV vaccine that protects them against a sexually transmitted disease? Are there 16-month-old infants that are sexually active? God, I hope not. That vaccine makes no sense at that age. Why are you doing it so early? Why are you hitting that baby with so many vaccines at once? But if you say that, oh, you're banned. Because, oh, now that, that might be offensive to somebody. That might be objectionable content. Pinterest has banned all such contents, uh, it, it, content now that talks about the dangers of vaccines. If you even talk about vaccine ingredients, just the scientific facts, what's in the vaccine? Here are the ingredients according to the FDA and the CDC. That will get you banned on Pinterest. So you see, what this all has in common is making sure that people don't get good information. And that's why what we do here at InfoWars is so crucial. We're bringing you the information that helps empower humanity so that human beings can make a conscious, informed choice to choose freedom. And that's why spreading the information about this broadcast and these videos and the articles on NewsWars.com and you know the videos from Paul Joseph Watson and everybody else, that's why it's so crucial. And that's why we are, in essence, really winning, as Alex said earlier in the show today, we are winning the war for the minds of the free-thinking citizens of the world. The, the globalist centralization effort is really starting to accelerate its collapse. And I'm going to make a prediction here right now about something big that I think is going to happen globally. And I'll get to that in just a second. But first, I want to share with you on this issue of making a choice. You know, I, I was telling um, a member of the crew there during the break, over the holidays, like what I did, I did hardcore combat training with former Marines who are experts in combatives. And so, you know, they, they had me in arm bars and they were we were doing weapon takeaways and it was a lot of mat work and I got beat up and I'm sore as heck and my elbow hurts. And I got my head bashed in a couple of times as well. It was not fun, but I made the choice to do that instead of just going out drinking, going out partying, going out and socializing. I made a choice to focus on skills that I think might be useful for survival, preparedness, self-defense as our world becomes more chaotic. The point is, you have that choice too, and your form of preparedness might be completely different from mine, and, and that's okay, but what are you doing with your day? What are you doing with every precious hour that you have? What are you doing with your actions right now, beyond just listening to this program, which is, which is a great starting point, but what actions are you taking? to share this information and impact your own personal life. Are you prepared? Do you have a bug out bag? Do you have a plan to get out of the city if you live in a city? You know, the last time I hosted this show, I talked about the government report that warned 99 nuclear power plants across America could go into a meltdown. This was a government report because of a grid down power failure. How close are you to a nuclear power plant? Do you have a plan to get away on foot or bicycle if there's an EMP attack? Do you have a plan? Because you should take, in my opinion, you should take this time, some of this time at least. I mean, time with family is important and time off is important, but take some of this time and invest it in your future, invest it in your survival. Are you prepared? Do you have the skills? Do you have the fitness level to walk 20 miles in a day with a 50-pound bag? Uh, bag on your on your back. If you don't have that fitness level, get out and start walking. Just start walking. Just walk around the street. Walk around the mall. Walk around a farm field. Whatever. Just just get out. Get that fitness going. Because that will serve you for the rest of your life. And these are actions that you can take. Don't let it just be a theoretical thing in your head. Like, oh yeah, uh, my dad sounds sounds correct. Yeah, that's a good thing. And uh, I'm gonna go back to playing video games. No, take action. Do what you need to do now, because time is running short. Now, to my to my prediction, big prediction. I believe that there is a we're we're seeing the opening stages of the economic and environmental collapse of communist China. I believe that communist China will collapse in the next few years. It might be two. It might be ten. But it has begun, and this is because the citizens of China, enough of them, want to be free. And China, even with all of the censorship efforts, has not been able to absolutely control everything that its own citizens do and think and say, speak or share. The 
end of communist China, I believe, is coming, and much the way the end of the Soviet Union happened, it will be all of a sudden, it, overnight. It will be like Tiananmen Square, but it will succeed. It might be the students, as what happened in 1989, or it might be another demographic in that society. But what's going to accelerate this, believe it or not, is the globalist banker attack on President Trump. Globalists are trying to crash the global debt system, and they're going to cause the economic collapse of China as a result. So, in other words, it's going to be collateral damage from the globalist point of view that has communist China suffering a massive debt collapse, also an environmental collapse, because there's so much massive poisoning, industrial waste going into the food supply in China, going into the rivers and the air and the soil and so on. They're, they're going to suffer a simultaneous ecological collapse as well as financial collapse. You won't know for sure that's happening until the day that, that it comes. Just like the former Soviet Union. It will, it will feel like it's all of a sudden, but it's building to it now, and it will accelerate in 2019. I'm going to bring in a reminder of how evil the tech giants really are. It was five years ago that Whole Foods promised they would label all GMOs by the end of 2018. And no, we haven't forgotten. We've been waiting for this day to find out if Whole Foods would keep its promise or betray its customers. Though. Five years ago, in 2013, they posted a statement on their website that said, quote, we have set a deadline that by 2018 all products in our U.S. and Canadian stores must be labeled to indicate whether they contain genetically modified organisms. Whole Foods Market is the first national grocery chain to set a deadline for full GMO transparency. That's what they said five years ago. Today, they have modified that statement and they have failed to meet their deadline. They say today, uh, quote, as always, our goal is to provide our customer with information to help make form choices, period. That's it. So, of course, Bezos, well, Amazon purchased Whole Foods, and that's the time, I believe, that that statement was modified, and that's the time, I believe, they abandoned their commitment to label GMOs. But they're counting on you not remembering anything. I mean, five years ago seems like an eternity in today's news cycle. Who's going to remember that Whole Foods promised to label GMOs five years ago? Apparently not very many people. And so they betrayed their customers. They lied. Whole Foods, they are liars. And Jeff Bezos is a liar and a deceiver. And if I told you all the products that we have tested in our lab from Amazon.com that are full of heavy metals and glyphosate and pesticides, you would be astonished. But that's the truth. That's the simple truth. So remember that. I'm going to do a story on that. In fact, I might suggest to the InfoWars crew that you might send somebody out there and, and go, go shopping at Whole Foods on camera and see if anything's labeled GMO and call them out on that. Because they, they need to be, uh, of course, held accountable for their lies to the public. You know, this